Hi, Scott Whitley here, hope you're doing well. I'm over here in Norway, um, with Big Country, we've got um, a festival gig this evening. Um, so I thought I'd just share with you a quick tip on how to change your bass strings without using any tools. So, you know, if, if I'm at home, I'd usually cut the excess um, end of the string off using um, a pair of snips. Um, but a lot of the times when you fly your instrument out, especially if you're taking it on, on the plane with you, um, it can be tricky to get through, um, you know, the customs or uh, to get through airport security, um, carrying pliers and tools and things. So, so I've got into the habit of, of just not bothering and changing my bass strings, and I've done this thousands of times over the years um, without any tools. So let me show you. I'm, I'm going to change. I'm just changing uh, the old set for a new set of my favourite GHS strings. There, fabulous strings. I've done the G string, and then I thought it'd be a good idea to share this tip with you. So I'm going to change um, the rest of the strings on camera right now. So this could be interesting. So here we go. I'm just going to um, remove the old strings. Now again, at home, I probably just cut this string, and then it's easier to take off. But for two reasons, I'm not. One is I haven't got any snips, and the other is um, the one, I want to save this string just in case I cock up the string change and need a spare. Here we go. Let's just pull that out. And like I say, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to keep that just in case I do something wrong. <coughs> Get the, the new string. An important thing when you're putting new strings on is to, you know, really carefully let the string unwind. Okay, let it just unfold like that itself. So you don't disturb the windings on the string. Let me just feed this through. Through body stringing on this one, so it's going through from the back. Uh, I'm just going to carefully pop that on the floor. Now, here is the, the bit that um, I'd, I'd normally use tools for. I take the string, this is the obviously the peg it's going round, and I'd leave three or four inches longer than that, and then just cut that um, with a pair of snips. But I haven't done any snips, so what you do is, you grip it really tight at the point that you want to um, that you want to cut it, and, and make a sharp bend in it. Okay, and then really squash that bend between your finger and thumb as hard as you can, so it's a really tight bend. Then put your thumb on the end of it, and and with with your fingers pull it straight again. Okay, then bend it again on the same point straighten it again and it's the old you know kind of metal fatigue thing okay if you're just really careful with this you're not going to disturb any windings back here I've never had a problem with that in years of doing this and when it finally goes you just need to kind of give it a few wiggles uh, and then it's gone it's breaking off now here's an important part a lot of people get wrong uh, with these type of tuners most types of bass tuners the string goes into the hole all the way down and then sharply kink it over and wind it round the post. Sometimes you can wind it round once, twice, and then what I do is just hold that in place. I mean, it's a lot easier if you get, get the base on, if you're in a hotel room or on the bed or something like that where it's not gonna get damaged. And then I keep the tension on the string like this. So I'll put my first finger on the string there, and the other fingers, or these, these fingers are used to keep the tension and then just wind it up. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm starting to get the tension now, so let's just tune it up. Okay, so one final tip, I'm not going to change the other two strings, it's the same procedure of course, is, uh, I mean quite often I'll change strings, you know, 10 minutes before I go on stage, I'm not recommending you do that, but sometimes it, it's happened and I've had to do that. Uh, just a quick tip for getting those strings to stay in tune, give them a good pull like that, okay, retune it, do it again. And after a few times of doing that, 
it'll stay in tune. Now one last tip, that's still probably going to go slightly flat after a few tunes. So what you do is, tune it just slightly sharp now, okay, and either side of the nut, give it a press, and at the bridge, give it a press, okay. One more time, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you found it useful. See you in the next video. Cheers.